here with Dr. David Wolf, a real Hoosier hero. Not only did he go to school at Purdue and IU, but he was a medical doctor here in Indianapolis and he went to high school in Indianapolis. Dr. Wolf, it's an honor to meet you and Rick, have a chance thank to speak you. with you. Pleasure. One question. Uh, I love kids, I love science, and they dream about astronauts, but you're the real astronaut. Tell us a little bit about growing up in Indiana and how you became an astronaut. There's nowhere better to grow up than Indiana. It instills the best principles that a person could have. It's a wonderful place to learn those principles. In fact, it's that young age when a person's growing up that they learn most of what they need to know to be an astronaut. Working on teams, supporting each other in a very positive way, being competitive but, but yet supportive. Uh, the, the leadership principles that, that, that really are developed well in the Midwest. So uh, it was a great place to grow up, still have many good friends here. And uh, I wanted to be an astronaut, but I knew you had to become something else first. I, in my case, I became a physician. Everybody does it differently, all the astronauts do, but the trick is to do what you're interested in, do well at it, and if that becomes consistent with becoming an astronaut, then that's wonderful also. That, that's awesome. The, uh, people like Neil Armstrong, Amelia Earhart, Wilbur Wright, and now David Wolf. Art, would you say Indiana is blessed with an extra amount of space it, people? It, it, aviation in general, it is true. There's a lot of great aviators in Indiana. And I know many great aviators that don't, uh, haven't made this famous list, you might say. Just plain good, great aviators that are part of my life. It's a great place to fly up here, even though the weather can be pretty challenging. Maybe that makes us better. But uh, Indiana is a great aviation, has a strong aviation history. Uh, you just listed some of the best there are. Uh, first man to step on the moon, of course, went to Purdue mm -hmm. also. So it, it is a privilege to be from Indiana, whether you look back at aviation or any other you know, strong, positive principle that people hold. Are you finding that young people are as excited about science and space exploration as our generation was back in the 60s? It's clear from being here at the Indianapolis Children's Museum with all these young people, nothing excites kids like space. Nothing sets them on their way to a, a future career in technology, sets that uh, engineering, physics, science like uh, the space program does. Uh, it inspired our generation, and there's no question it inspires the current generation. What's left in your role of space exploration? Uh, there's a I'll, my role is mainly as a mentor and a teacher in space. Uh, I probably won't fly again for a long time, but if the boss tips me on the shoulder and says, Dave, we got a mission for you, I'll take it. Is the Mars mission too far out for a guy your age? I would age? say the Mars mission will be for the young people that we saw today, but all the development and the early precursors to the Mars mission are for the current astronauts. We just took a class of new astronauts two weeks ago. I can't say if there's another space mission in my future, but I can say that there's a lot of space in my future. Well, it sure is an honor. A scientist, an engineer, and a doctor, and more importantly, a Hoosier. More importantly, that's right. Thank you, Rick. Good luck.